um, my favourite winter climbing destination in Scotland has got to be Ben Nevis. Um, it's this incredible, incredible mountain with hundreds of different routes to climb. Um, and I've had some, some epic days on there, some scary days, um, and some, yeah, some incredible days. It's a very hard choice. Scotland has so much to offer. I would say my favourite winter climbing destination in Scotland is probably Craig Meggie in the Central Highlands. Um, I'm a big fan of water ice climbing and I think it's one of Scotland's top water ice venues. Big waterfalls that flow over the top of the plateau, big long routes, um, long approach, it's got everything really. Uh, I would probably say last post will be the favorite route I've climbed to Craig Maggie. I've got a few unfinished projects still on the mountain it has to be said so I'd like to go back and have a look at Smith's Gully again this year. But I'm going to go for Loch the Gar. Um, it's a beautiful location um, and probably my favourite and best ever winter route was done there. So it was two routes mashed together and it was a day where it looked like we perhaps wouldn't get a very good um, climb done. We started off up um, a climb called West Gully which has got a, um, an ice climb at the bottom. It was in quite tough condition but the rest of the climb looked rubbish. So we traversed away left and we did the second half of the climb on something called Gargoyle Chimney which I don't think it's climbed all that often, but on that day it was just stunning. It was, um, it was in mixed condition and about halfway up there was this patch of emerald green moss that was frozen moss, but it was bright, bright green. Myself and a friend, we had a very, very exciting adventure on the Haston line. It was my first, my first proper winter route. Um, we, uh, and my friend, uh, my friend was a very good rock climber but had never been out in winter before, whereas I was an all right rock climber but, uh, but had done quite a lot of winter walking. And so we, so we walk into the base of uh, a, a hidden chimney and uh, discovered that there was a team already on it. Uh, and decided to do the Haston line instead uh, and didn't realize that it was way, way, way more difficult. <laughs> It's one of those things where uh, uh, certainly the first few times you do it, it's definitely type two fun. It's it's fun with fun in retrospect. It's it's funny to look back on yourself and think, wow, what an idiot doing that sort of thing. But uh, it's uh, but once you once you get a bit more experience and get a bit better, you can actually go out and enjoy it while you're <laughs> while you're doing it. I think probably one of the most epic days I've had on Ben Nevis was on um, Zero Gully, which is this amazing climb, lots of pictures of ice, a bit of mixed climbing, um, and it's a long, long route. It took maybe seven or eight hours of, of climbing up to get to the top, um, but it was just amazing. It was just me and my climbing partner, Scott, um, just for the whole day, just kind of hanging off the side of this mountain. It was a beautiful day that day, there was no wind. Um, and getting to the top, we got there just as the sun was setting. These amazing sunsets from, from the top of Ben Nevis. It was yeah, incredible. It was probably one of the hardest grades I climbed at the time. Um, or I've also had uh, a couple of incredible days on, on Tower Bridge. So Tower Bridge is just a classic on Ben Nevis. It's just this huge, massive ridge line. Um, one of my first winter climbs was on Ben Nevis again, on a route called Ledge Route which is a really nice ridge line. Um, I think it's a grade two, so it's, it's reasonably straightforward, but it is big and it's imposing. Any route on the north face of Ben Nevis is big and imposing, um, but just so epic just to be there. And you can kind of, when you're on one of these ridge lines, you can just see all the people on the other ridge lines next to you. So you see people on Tower Ridge, you see people over the other side of the bend. Um, yeah, it's just amazing. that all climbing needs to have an element of uncertainty in it and Scottish winter climbing has no shortage of that. Conditions change easily, the weather is wild and out of control so definitely it's always an adventure. You never really know what's going to happen when you set off from the car. Um, and, and it's really properly tough from the really early start that you have to have. Walking in in the dark, normally feeling a bit sick, um, get to the bottom of the climb just as the sun's coming up ideally and then you know it, it takes a long time it's time consuming even if you're fast which I'm not particularly it's time consuming and quite often you're you know topping out in the dark 
and then you get out of the climb and you get this massive hit and you think, right, that's it, I want to go back tomorrow. It's not like climbing anywhere else in the world. Um, when the weather's really bad, like if you're in the Alps or in the Himalayas, you don't, you don't go out, you don't go climbing. If the weather's really bad in Scotland, you tend to just go climbing. So when there's 50, 60 mile hour winds, um, spin drift coming down the route on top of you, you're standing a little belay ledge shaking and shivering. Um, but then you, get, you keep going and you get to the end of the day and you get back to the car or get to the pub. And it's just that feeling when you get to the pub that you've had such an epic day and you can just really enjoy being alive, really.